वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज मोबाइल डी एन ए इलेमेंट्स इन यू कैरियॉट्स इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी पी इलेमेंट्स इन ड्रॉसोफिला एंड द टी वाई इलेमेंट्स फर्स्ट विल सी द ड्रॉसोफिला ट्रांसपोजोन्स राइट सो अराउंड फिफ्टीन पर्सेंट ऑफ ड्रॉसोफिला जीनोम इज मोबाइल एंड द पी इलेमेंट्स इन ड्रॉसोफिला दैट कॉज इज द hybrid dysgenesis that occurs due to the crossing of particular drosophila strains p element vary in length ranges from 500 to 2900 base pairs so these p elements are transposable elements that were discovered in drosophila as the causative agents of the genetic trait that is the hybrid dysgenesis okay so the transposon in is responsible for the p trait of the p element and it is found only in the wild type of flies only so they are also found in many other eukaryotes but here we are going to study in the wild type of flies or the drosophila here the p element encodes for the protein p transposes unlike laboratory strain females wild type females are thought to also express in express an inhibitor of the p transposase function from the very same element right so this inhibitor reduces the disruption to the genome caused by the p elements allowing fertility progeny that we'll discuss in figure later so the evidence of this comes from the crosses of laboratory females with the uh, sorry females which lack p transposes inhibitor with the wild type of males which have p elements okay so we'll see with the help of figure sorry so p elements code a repressor present in cytoplasm which makes them stable in p strain but unstable when cross to the wild type of female as we have discussed just so this female lack repressor in the cytoplasm so used experimentally as a transformation vectors how let's see here in this figure you can see the female and the male drosophila so female is having no p element then the it is having dna plus cytoplasm and the no repressor okay so this female having no repressor for the uh, p element then the male is having p element and dna only here so the crossing over between these two male and female that leads to the normal appearing progeny right so fly sterile because of hybrid dysgenesis so this progeny appears normal but these are sterile because this female is having or it is lacking the p element okay so the this p element is mainly responsible for the hybrid dysgenesis hybrid dysgenesis it may be um, many kind of a uh, dysgenesis that is it may lack a leg or a wing or it may have mutant red eye or like that right in the second case female is having p element and it is having dna plus cytoplasm and this female is having repressor here so this is the difference it is having repressors and it is highly stable female and second male is having no p element and dna only so the progeny of these two appears normal and they are fertile also because the p element which is present in the female right so it is having the repressor so that the progeny appears normal and fertile also so the p element commonly used as a mutagenic agents in genetic experiments with drosophila so one advantage of this approach 
is that the mutations are easy to locate in hybrid diseases one strain of drosophila may mate with sorry mates with another strain of drosophila producing hybrid offspring and causing chromosomal damage known to be dysgenic or the dysgenesis so hybrid dysgenesis require a contribution from both parents right here in this figure you can see the contribution of these two parents for example sorry contribution of two parents for example in pm system where the p strain contributes paternity and m strain contributes maternity okay so this genesis can occur here the reverse cross with the m site uh, cytotype father and the p mother produces a normal offspring at as it crosses a p into p or the p or male m manner pp or the mm manner that in, uh, in uh, introduces the normal progeny here like in the second case in this figure right so the p male chromosomes can cause the dysgenesis when cross with an m female like in first case here okay so this hybrid dysgenesis refers to the high rate of mutation in germ line cells of drosophila strains resulting from a cross of males with an autonomous p element that is the p strain or the p cytotype and females that lack p element that that is called as m strain or m cytotype here so the hybrid dysgenesis syndrome is marked by the temperature dependent sterility and elevated mutation rates and increase chromosomal rearrangement and the recombination here so the hybrid dysgenesis phenotype is affected by the transposition of p elements within the germ line of cells of offspring of p strain males with the m strain female okay p strain male means it is having uh, it is having it is lacking the p element so the hybrid dysgenesis phenotype affected by the transposition of p element with the germ line cells of offspring right so hybrid dysgenesis manifest when crossing of p strain males with m strain females and not when crossing of p strain females or the female with autonomous p elements with the m strain males okay so the eggs of p strain females contain high amount of repressor protein that prevents transcription of the transposes enzyme okay so the eggs of m strain mothers which do not contain repressor protein allowing transposition of p element from the sperms of father in p strain females the repressors are found in cytoplasm okay hence when p strain males fertilize m strain female whose cytoplasm contain no repressor the male contributes its genome with the p element but not the male cytoplasm leading to the p strain progeny okay so this effect contributes to the pirns being inherited only in the maternal line which provides a defense mechanism against the p element so the p element has found wide use in drosophila research as a mutagen so the use of this mutagen or the p element is in research as a mutagen right so the mutagenesis system typically uses an autonomous but immobilized element and a mobile non autonomous element flies from the subsequent generation can then be screened by the phenotype or the pcr okay so the naturally occurring p elements contain coding sequence for the enzyme transposes and the recognition sequences for the transposes action so this was an importance of p element in the drosophila i hope you understand the p elements in drosophila then the ty elements in yeast 
okay so this is the second uh, um, important example regarding the eukaryotic transposon that is the ty elements in yeast or the yeast elements so the genetic organization of the ty elements resembles that the eukaryotic retroviruses they are very similar to the eukaryotic retroviruses as it is having the copy and paste mechanism of transposons right this single stranded rna viruses synthesizes dna from their rna after entering a cell okay so again reverse transcriptase enzyme play a major role here the dna then inserts into site in the genome creating an target duplication so the genetic organization of this ty element resemble very similar to the eukaryotic organisms so the single stranded rna virus synthesizes dna from their rna after entering the cell by using the reverse transcriptase and the dna then insert into the site in the genome creating a target site duplication okay so ty element are flanked by five nucleotide pair direct repeats created by the duplication of dna at the site of the ty insertion okay means they are having direct repeat at their ends or the both ends so the yeast carries about 35 copies of the transposable elements called the ty in its haploid genome so ty carries around 35 copies of transposable element these transposons are about 5900 nucleotide base pairs long and are bounded at each end by the dna segment called the delta sequence or the or which is 340 base pair long okay so this delta sequence is very important that we'll see in detail later so each delta sequence is oriented in the same direction forming what are known as a direct long terminal repeats as you know already what are i ltrs right sometimes an ltr becomes detached from the ty element creating a so called solo delta okay sometimes ltr becomes detached or they get removed from the ty element and they creates the single form of delta sequences it is thought that those solo delta generated by the recombination between the ltrs and the complete ty element so the recombination of ty element and ltr forms the solo delta right so the ty elements have only two genes that is a and b gene which are analogous to the gag and pol gene of retroviruses right so they are very similar to the gag and pol gene of retroviruses again the ty elements have characteristics with bacterial transposons as they are having terminal repeated sequences at ends then the integration and non homologous sites right and third is the generation of target site duplication and that is approximately 5 base pairs okay so again ty elements encodes around 5.7 kilo base pair mrna beginning at the delta 5 dash promoter okay so the, there are two orf as we have discussed in the mrna designated tya and tya b encoding two different proteins so here they are having two different protein that is tya a and tya b and that encodes the two different proteins so the copy number varies between each strains with an average about 35 so the tya elements also share similarity with the retro transposons uh, sorry retroviruses as we have discussed so the single stranded rna virus that replicate via the double stranded dna intermediate like that the ty elements carries its transposition like events 
सो टी वाई इलेमेंट्स ट्रांसपोज बाय द मेकिंग एन आर एन ए कॉपी ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड डी एन ए सिक्वेंसेस दे मेकिंग डी एन ए यूजिंग द रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज दिस डी एन ए कैन इंटीग्रेट एट न्यू क्रोमोजोमल साइट एंड द एविडेंसेस इंक्लूड्स एन अप्रोक्सीमेटली इंट्रोड्यूस इंट्रॉन दैट इज द टी वाई इलेमेंट विच इज नॉर्मली लैक्स इंट्रॉन ओके सो दे मे लैक इंट्रॉन्स एक्सपेरिमेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड राइट वॉज मॉनिटर्ड थ्रू द ट्रांसपोजिशन लाइक इवेंट एंड देन द इंट्रॉन वॉज रिमूव इंडिकेटिंग एन आर एन ए इंटरमीडिएट ओके सो द टी वाई इलेमेंट्स ऑल्सो एनकोड्स अ रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज देन द वायरस लाइक पार्टिकल्स लाइक टी वाई आर एन ए एंड द रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज एक्टिविटी ऑकर बाय द टी वाई एलिमेंट्स the ty elements are referred to as a retro transposons also so the ty elements that contains you need to remember these things like they are having 5.9 kilo base pair include including the two terminal repeats of 334 base pair and the long terminal repeats that are ltrs or the delta so there are two open reading frames and they are having two proteins that is tya a and tya b or the tya a gene and tya b gene in its rna encoding two different proteins right so an experimentally introduced intron in tya element which is normally lacks introns was monitored through the transposition as we have just discussed about this so the tya element encode reverse transcriptase and the virus like particles okay so the this is the structure of ty element that is having ltr regions at its both end and it is having 5900 base pairs of length okay so the encodes two protein that is tya a and tya b protein that are very similar to the retroviruses like gag and pol gene okay so one hypothesis is that the yeast ty element are primitive retroviruses capable of moving from one side to another inside a cell but not capable of moving within or between cells this was one hypothesis in this regard it has been shown that the transposition of ty elements involves an rna intermediate after the rna synthesis from the ty dna and the product of the tyb gene uses rna to make double stranded dna so the tyb gene product is used to form double stranded dna so the process is reverse transcription and then the newly synthesized dna is inserted somewhere in the genome creating a new ty element because of their overall similarity to the retroviruses right so yeast ty element are sometime called as retro transposons this is the main headline of the topic okay so i hope you understand the lecture that is the uh, transposons in eukaryotes first was the drosophila that is the p element in drosophila and second is the yeast ty elements thank you